Prophecy Confirmation And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Prophecy is the mind of God revealed unto humanity by the interpretation of his prophets. In the book of Amos number 3 verse number 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals it unto his servants, the prophets. Before anyone would have realized that the world would have been in a pandemic before anyone would have known that the world would be filled with darkness. On the 31st of January 2020, God's servant Yam Killer Joseph spoke a prophetic word concerning the president of South Africa, Suru Ramaphosa. In this prophecy, God's servant forewarned of a coming time where the president of South Africa will cry tears and will be affected emotionally and physically by the things that were coming and how he would be tied and how he would be affected by non-state actors that would come into the nation in the disguise of saving people. In this prophecy, given on the 31st of January, before any expert would have ever declared a worldwide pandemic, before any nation would have realized that there would be lockdown all over the world, God's servant, Yankala Joseph, with an eye of an eagle, saw it all in advance and prophesied that it was coming to the nation of South Africa with non-state actors being part of the ploy and gave a warning to the president of South Africa that he had to know that he needed to choose the nation rather than the interest of those that were coming. The prophecy goes like this. Take a look. And then the Lord has spoken to me about the president that is currently on power, which is uh, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. Now the Lord has spoken to me that we have to pray for this man of God because God is really trying to reach to him. The Lord is trying to, to reach to the president of this country and to give him a word of wisdom and a word of understanding. So we must pray for the president to have the ears that listen so that God may begin to instruct of what it is to come to this country. Now in the watch of my prayer session the Lord spoke to me about the president that I should give this word concerning the president of, of South Africa so I just want to take you straight to the prophecy and to the point now the president of South Africa Sir Ramaphosa is deceived now what do I mean by he is deceived? You will hear from what the Lord is saying. Those who pretended to help him promised him that they would assist him to build the nation. The president had good intentions upon taking over office. It is only upon attaining the office then he was cornered and surprised. Let's pray for his health so that it might not lead to a severe headache. The president is tied on a yoke by the neck of those whose intention was not to build from the beginning. 
now there is a group of people who are close uh, surrounding the president of this country the president in his embark upon the journey of becoming a president had been promised by these people that they will help him to build the country so that his vision for the country may come but upon him getting into the presidency only to his surprise he began to be cornered and to be yoked in a corner and see different things from what they promised to him now as we're talking the president of south africa is under severe headaches he's got headaches right now and we have to pray for his health because this might lead to a position where we hear that the president has just been hospitalized because of stress so we need to pray for him that it might not lead to that now the lord said to me as i, I hear from the lord he said they presented themselves as agents of change and will help his vision to come but entangled him with things that now threaten his own life and survival these people not only did they deceive him but they promised him and presented themselves as agents of change only to entangle him now to into things that are not only threatening his survival but his life the president had options to choose the nation first or those who placed demands on him behind the scenes unfortunately they were too powerful and they are too powerful and very well resourced to destroy him and and tie him even more they placed him in a position where he had to choose compliance not only for his benefit but for but for his security as well those who deceived him made him believe that he would find his way with them but unfortunately he didn't see and now sabotaging him that he should not begin to execute the plans that benefit the nation unless their demands are met and they have evidence and things that can entangle and threaten even the survival of the president himself only prayer can save this nation of south africa the issue is bigger than a president no matter it was mandela mbeki or zuma or whoever who would steal everything as it is now will still be the same so this is not an individual problem this is not just a presidential problem this is a national problem even if it was the president mbeki mandela or even zuma as it is it will still be because these people they would still be alive and they will still be doing the agenda that they are pushing against this nation now i know many of you are asking who are these people how oh, you will hear what the lord is saying what will save south africa is more than just a president political party we need divine intervention only jesus christ can help us we need to pray dear mr president whether you turn left or right the future of this nation remains dark that means you you are the one who is leading in that darkness currently and also and 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 also yours is also dark as well so on my previous prophecy those who watched there is a judgment on south africa prophecy i released in in december november i want you to go 
because in that prophecy I describe the real, real problem of this country and how it started. Now that is the spiritual side of things. So you go on judgment over, you will see it to be tagged. The link is going to be tagged here. Yeah. Now, look what the Lord is saying. You will also have to take responsibility, Mr. President, because you have been part of this and the worst is still to come. Meaning, the president of the country, you have been placed in this position and now you don't have an excuse but to take responsibility because now you have been part of these people but now they seem to 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 not try to comply in what would benefit our country this calls for wisdom only god can change what this country is about to face the evil men surrounding you mr president who pretend to be men who are planning to save the country but are working for themselves the lord the god of heavens has spoken and says unless they repent judgment and the day of reckoning is coming for them the cry of the oppressed has reached the ears of the living god and there is judgment coming your future is in your hands pray for wisdom mr president this is a reminder remember the lord says don't disappoint your people or moreover remember the days you served the lord walked before him remember your ways to him and repent because he's merciful as you were a young man you loved him but now you have drawn away redeem your soul the god of heaven is the only way who can and the only one who can rescue you from this and even these people whatever it costs choose south africa leave those who threaten you to their who threaten you to to meet their demands focus on doing what is right for the people of south africa or face the sword you have drawn against your own enemies now this is the word of the lord now this is what god is saying to south africa and to the president Cyril ramaphosa mr president I pray that God gives you wisdom. I pray that God gives you understanding of how to lead this nation and how to not hear the ears of those who seek the destruction of this nation and who are planning to sabotage you and place you to a position where even you yourself had to comply and end up having to become a disgrace. I want to pray. Let us pray for the president. These are the points that God's servant Yamkela Joseph prophesied about as he spoke about what was coming to the South African nation via the President Cyril Ramaphosa. Number one, the Lord was reaching out to the South African President to make him know of what was to come to the nation. Number two, Cyril Ramaphosa had a good intention in his arrival in office but was deceived upon his arrival number three prayers for his health emotionally and physically had to be offered before he end up in hospital with stress number four these people presented themselves as agents of change yet they were coming to sabotage the nation number five they entangled him with things that will threaten not only his life but also his survival as well number six they are powerful and well-resourced people and they would still be there whether which president was on the seat they would still carry out their agenda number seven the issue was bigger than a president and only god would be able to save the nation from these people Number eight, 
they will place him into a position where he had to choose compliance for his security's sake. Number nine, the Lord said, judgment is coming to these evil men which surrounded the president of South Africa. Number 10, the South African president had to choose the nation and what is beneficial to the people and not disappoint the people. These are the points that God's seven highlighted as he spoke in the beginning of the year before anybody would have ever imagined a pandemic coming or the world faced with this kind of state capture and sabotage. God wanted the South African president that he needed to take care of himself and his nation ahead using the voice of the Lord. It is God's way to warn kings and to warn those who are in authority so that they listen to the voice of God. The failure to do so has now led to the situation that South Africa faces as we speak. We therefore pray that the South African president will continue to seek the face of God in this time so that everything can be turned around. While making another declaration of lockdown, the president of South Africa is seen with teary eyes ready as he announces another set of lockdowns that are coming from the year 2021 in January. In this announcement, many people all over the world were shocked as they saw the president of South Africa looking very, very distressed. Take a look at this video. Of learning will soon reopen so that they can resume their studies. We will want to get back to work, to earning and to looking for work. We want our life to resume. We all have plans and hopes and dreams for 2021. Perhaps the greatest of them all is the simplest. We wish for the new year to bring better health, stability and prosperity. Our situation has changed for the worse. The new year is upon us. Our children will soon be going back to school. Our situation has changed for the worse. The new year is upon us. Our children will soon be going back to school. All over social media filled with different kinds of emotions and moods as many people are shocked by the expression of the president during this time of announcing COVID-19. Another one says on Twitter, if Sir Ramaphosa was crying, I get it. This, this virus hits differently when you have a loved one fighting. This has been a tough time, not only for me and my family, but many others. Those who have lost loved ones cry, still cry, because many of us have as well. Another one says, Mama, we knew we see him crying, crocodile tears. We see him, Mama, give us a signal. Another one says, can we begin crying already? Looking that he's broken hearted as he sees the president crying. Another one says, Bathong, Sir Ramaphosa is crying. Leanne Mena says, I have never seen a president cry or show this much emotion during an address. He is literally begging us to take care. Please, please, South Africa, look after yourselves and those around you. We need to take responsibility for our own actions now. Level 3, Candles, COVID-19, SA. Another one says, you deserve an Oscar for perfectly executing that crying scene tonight, Cyril Ramaphosa. It's a stroke of a genius and I might have considered you really empathic and fell for it 
if you had cried for a slain for the slain Marikana workers. Well done tonight, although. Another one says, Is Mr. President crying? Be strong, my president, Cyril Ramaphosa. The people you are leading do not want to listen. And when you have done your part. These are the views of some who spoke on social media and voice out their opinion concerning the South African President Emotional Express as he was declaring the lockdowns. It is up to the South African President to decide whether to heed to the word of the Lord forewarned by God servant in advance before anything like this could have been. Now it is up to the President of South Africa to heed to God's voice and to pray for spiritual direction and for guidance during this time. Our prayers go to the nation of South Africa and the people of South Africa as well as the whole world that God will find his way. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here to make sure that you at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home, watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart i've seen the man of god preaching the gospel but i don't know jesus i've never met jesus and i would love to meet that jesus to come into my life right now if you don't know jesus christ i want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the lord jesus will come to your heart and he will save you your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed so make this prayer with me right now say lord jesus come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord. Because the Bible is clear that He gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now, you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus Christ TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.